What's up, y'all? Welcome to Union Minded. I'm your host, Eric, and today we're going to be talking about the Amazon Labor Union victory that took place on Friday. But first, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, ring the bell notification to never miss a video, and share, share, share these videos. Now let's get into it. Chris Smalls and the Amazon Labor Union win a huge victory to form Amazon's Labor Union, a first against the warehouse giant. This is some watershed, history-making moment. Fiercely anti-union? Didn't matter. Union-busting tactics? Didn't matter. They fired Chief Organizer Chris Smalls in 2020 for allegedly breaking safety guidelines following a walkout stage during the early days of the pandemic. But that didn't matter either. What prompted the walkout anyway? Amazon was not informing their workers whenever someone tested positive for COVID-19. So what did Chris do? He organized outside the warehouse at the bus stop everyone uses to commute in and out of work. He partnered with Derek Palmer, who organized from within the warehouse. They developed a strategy that organized workers as they arrived, as they worked, and as they went home for the day. If you never lived uh, in the city, you probably don't understand how important the bus stop is and how vital a role public transportation played in this particular victory. The bus stop is a public space, and it's a space where all the workers had to go to go home and to come to work. And most importantly, Amazon could not kick the people out of the bus stop. Chris recognized this and used the bus stop as his pulpit. He put a heating lamp to pro in, and propane in it to keep workers warm in the wintertime. Amazon used all the dirty tricks of the owner class. They lied about unions and captive audience meetings. They made them mandatory listening sessions where execs bash unions and lie about how unions operate. They lied about dues and what they're for. They lied about collective bargaining, grievances, and they encouraged the workers to vote no, which is illegal. They're not allowed to tell you how to vote. They even let racism guide their strategy as they saw Chris, who is tatted up, he's black, has gold, and they looked at him as unintelligent and wanted to paint the effort as being illegitimate because Chris was at the helm of it. Jeff Bezos was quoted describing Chris as not smart or articulate and wanted to make him, quote, the face of the entire union organizing movement. Smalls was quoted as replying, saying, ironically, he said to make me the face of the union or uh, of the whole unionizing effort. So I said, OK, that's a good idea. And it was. Why? Because most of the workers look like Chris, young people of color, working class and urban. Smalls found a pro bono lawyer on Twitter, started a GoFundMe to raise money, printed up shirts, pamphlets with that money and just worked from 2020, worked this unionizing effort. His team of organizers used TikTok and other platforms expertly to grow awareness. The, there was a company spokesman uh, named Kelly Nantel who said, as a company, we don't think unions are the best answer for our employees. Our focus remains on working directly with our team to continue to make Amazon a great place to work. Of course, the, co the company wants no, no part of unions being in there. It gives the, the workers power. Of course not. Why would they want that? <laughs> yeah, right. We want to keep exploiting our workforce and unions will get in the way of that goal. That's the translation of that quote that the uh, the spokesperson said. But anyway, I want to give a huge congrats to Chris Smalls on winning the Amazon uh, labor union fight. Huge victory. Crazy win. Beating the odds. David versus Goliath. And David with a sling. Swooped that rock right at his forehead and game over. This is the first domino to fall. And I'm excited to see uh, the trickle effect. There's another vote this month at the second Amazon warehouse across across the way from the Staten Island uh, warehouse. That that organizing vote happens this month, so we're excited. It's exciting times to be uh, in labor, and it's exciting times. And if we all realize it, man, ooh, it's gonna be something sweet. Anyway, my name is Eric. You're watching Union Minded, and remember, the fight is not left and right. It is up and down, and we are on the bottom fighting up. All right, peace. Oh, yeah, don't forget, solidarity, solidarity wins always. Peace.